Welcome to this episode of Lizzie's Workshop. Today I am just making a mess. It's been kind of a, a wonky weekend. Everything got derailed and I really wasn't happy all day and didn't feel content with anything that did and didn't get done for the whole weekend. Um, and so I just kind of wanted to throw a whole bunch of stuff at the page and see where it ended up. And, and really I was thinking of mud. I was thinking of you know, just making a big mess and I didn't care if all the colors I added to the page turned into like a big brown disgusting pile of goo. I just wanted to put all the frustrations with how the weekend didn't go the way I wanted it to onto a page somehow. And so I started off with the um, stencil, the stencil from Ranger and then I went and grabbed uh, the cherry pie ink spray from Dilutions and the next color that I'm gonna grab is um, post box red and then I'm going to add after midnight and those are all the Dilutions sprays and in between on this you know on the first color I showed you that I you know took the stencil and cleaned it off and then I heat set the page and I did that with all of them I just took that all that extra stuff out because Watching paint dry is not exciting. So yeah, I just kind of added all this stuff and I'm looking at this page and I'm like, oh, it's got potential to turn purple. It's got potential to turn, you know, brownish because of the deep reds. So let's just see where it went. I dried it between each color and then I threw on some gesso. I liked it and I liked how bright it was and how wonderful it was, but that wasn't where I was going. I hadn't thrown enough at the page yet. So I put on my first layer of gesso and it came out nice and light. And um, the acrylic based mediums on top of these water based inks um, just happened to pull them up through the surface and they just kind of keep pulling and keep pulling. So I like to add um, a couple layers of gesso and if I had laid it on nice and thick and let it dry just a little bit longer I would have gotten some nice gobs of white on there but um, I just kind of kept going. And then in between each layer once again I'm using my heat gun to dry it all. There is a point in this video that I lift the page and I actually, there we go, I'm going to burn myself with my heat gun on one. <laughs> <laughs> I think I edited that out, but I literally like caught my finger on the end of that heat gun and it was so, so hot. But anyway, so the next thing that I'm going to do once it's all nice and dry is I'm going to add the Dilutions paints and this is the Vibrant Turquoise and I'm just adding it with a sponge, a makeup sponge and um, see how it's all blending in and the gesso hasn't stopped the inks com from coming up through it because that's what happens when you have water based versus acrylic based is the water based gets pulled up through the acrylic base even if it's dry. So I'm just making a cloud. I didn't have a plan. I just thought you know let's just make mud. Let's make a mess. Let's see where this goes. But I didn't have the right colors to make mud. So far I'm all kind of you know in the purple family you know if I go towards blue I'm still okay if I go towards red I'm still okay I'm not gonna make brown out of blue and red I'm gonna make all kinds of purple so I'm looking at that going okay well what's the contrast to purple contrast to purple is yellow so I'm gonna end up adding some yellow to this so the reason that I brayered over top of that is I didn't want it to be you know heavy and sticky and stuff like that I wanted to thin it out and give it this kind of you know loose edged wear and tear cloudy mess of a look and so that's where I ended up with that and then I dried it again. I went through and grabbed my Dilutions paint of Lemon Zest as the yellow and I think this is a stencil one stencil. I'm, I was really frustrated as well because I have these favorite stencils where they're my go-to's and I just adore them and I let somebody borrow my um, hexagon one and that person has not brought it back yet and so I was I was getting through my frustration with the weekend and that just rekindled it <laughs> I felt like I could not do this page without my hexagon stencil and I was so mad at the individual who still has it that I just just you know but I found this one it's the only one that I do have even though I I you know have purchased probably six of them 
because <laughs> I like my hexagons. They're always a good background for me. And so I just kind of keep going through and adding the yellow. And, and I know that the yellow is going to mix with things. And I know in some places I'm going to get brown. And in some places I'm going to get a bright yellow. And in some places I'm going to get orange. And I'm okay with that. That's exactly what I want. I wanted this layered, gummed up, messed up, muddy look. But I also wanted to achieve that, you know, really dimensional look of a jelly print. And I think that I, I kind of ended up in that place. And so as I got the, once I got the yellow on, my mood really improved and um, I could continue on with the rest of that. So this, I grabbed this text stamp and it's kind of been my go-to, so it sits on my desk. And so I just kind of keep grabbing and inking it and throwing it on almost every project I own. And it's just, uh, it's like a French love letter or something, but... I have no idea what it says. It's just like a visual texture that goes in the background of everything. So that's that was my is my go to. So I did that. I threw it all on there, and um, you know kept stamping until I was happy. And you know these kind of pages. Once your book starts getting full, you fill up your. Um, it doesn't stay flat anymore, so your stamps won't stamp nice and smooth because that one is stuck on a block. Um, I could take it off the block, but why bother? So I just put my hand underneath the page and then run my fingers across the stamp in order to get the ink off of the stamp properly. So these these stickers, um, somebody bought them for me at like a grocery store or something. I know I've seen this package at my local grocery store. They're not like high-tech stickers. They're going to totally peel right off, but um, I'll fix that problem. The um, two kinds of washi tape that I put on I believe are just a recollect like recollection sets or something from um, I know that I bought them at Michael's one is kind of a turquoise color and says life is a journey and the other one is kind of a it's kind of a post note you know like a postcard kind of Paris look to it it's got Paris words on it and then I used my little W plus 9 stamps, and you can't really see them from the view of the camera. I really should have zoomed my camera in while I was stamping this, but I didn't know how much space I wanted. And so I just made you suffer. So I then decided after I was editing it that I would edit through most of the fiddling with the W plus 9 stamps because you can't see what I'm putting on there anyways. And then I grabbed my recollections big set and put in mud and I grabbed another recollection set that's those little ABCs those blocks there and wrote clarity so what the, the page ends up saying is some days it's the mud that brings clarity and so it kind of speaks to um, all the mess of the day and throwing it all at the page and trying to get that you know multi-layered mess of how everything just kept adding up and adding up and adding up and um, how you know towards the end of the day it you know even this big beautiful mess of what my day ended up being you know came out quite beautiful so um days like today it's the mud that that brings clarity so even though the day was a mess it, it's still a beautiful day because i spent the day with my children and i got to meet my brand new baby nephew and um you know, we got to sell some Girl Guide cookies, and all in all, it was actually a good day if you take out um, all the, the ugly parts of it. So then what I'm going to do is I'm going to try out a couple pens, and what I'm trying to do is go and emphasize those small words a little bit. It doesn't work. My jelly roll wasn't happy. My pit pen wasn't happy. I had to... Um, get away from the pit pen as fast as I could because it didn't want to work and I didn't want to kill it with the wet paint so the top layer of the paint is dry but the you know multiple layers that I put on this page are not dry so the minute that I I sink below that very top layer of paint I end up destroying my pens and I didn't want to do that so I took the jelly roll and the jelly roll will roll with a really light hand so because the top layer is dry, I took the jelly roll and rolled with a very light hand and it worked out just really well. 
and I went through and colored black on the word clarity because I thought that the word clarity should be more clear. And then I thought, you know, Zen tangling usually, or tangling or doodling or whatever, usually makes me feel uh, quite a bit more relaxed. So, hey, why not doodle on this page? And so I'm kind of putting the swishes in with my pen, and I realized that the nib is just not big enough. There's not enough emphasis to this. And so I went and grabbed my um, Sharpie paint pen. It's the oil-based fine point one. And I just go over the lines that I had started with the little jelly roll pen. And so I go over that and I and cut another couple in and I smooth out the lines. And then I just kind of keep doodling. I did take a lot of edit a lot out of the doodling and that's because um, it's not very exciting. So you'll see some magic here. <laughs> so I'll start coloring in parts of the line and then all of a sudden the line will be fully colored in and it'll be quite amazing. So that's what happened there. And so I'm going to color in the top line. I kind of wanted that to be like a, you know, like a bar or a wire or something like that or a rope. And then I decided I'm going to color in the bottom ribbon as well. And I'll start out, you know, on this end and abracadabra I am on the other end and it's all nice and quick and easy. It did go quite quick as it was, but I'd already sped up the video uh, three times fast, and I didn't think that it would be that exciting to just sit there and watch. So once I had the ribbons in, I sat there and stared at this for, you know, a good, I don't know, two minutes at least, and then I, because I couldn't decide where I wanted to take it from here, and then I just kind of was like, oh well, just whatever, and allowed my lack of thought to direct what was going to be on the page and I'm okay with that. So that when I drew in this feather, I cur first I drew in all the little tufts of the feather to point down and all in the same direction. And then I went back through the feather and um, added in ones that face the other direction. So it looks a little bit more like a, ratted, a ratty feather. And I really liked how that turned out. And then this, I knew I wanted some beads hanging down from it, and I knew I wanted a charm at the end of it, but I really couldn't decide what the charm was going to be. And so I thought, you know what, we're going to add some love to this page, because that's what the day was kind of about. And then we're going to add some peace to give myself a little bit of peace at the end of the day. And I tried to, I drew in some, some beads here, and then I tried to draw a dove at the end of it. But I should have just sketched it in with my pencil first. That didn't happen. I don't love the dove, <laughs> but that's okay. It, it, it's the symbolism in it that is more important than, than loving the dove. <laughs> and then I thought, okay, clarity can be more clear. And hey, while I'm, you know, using this, this, you know, Sharpie on everything, I might as well use it on everything. And I went ahead and, um, went over the other letters too, the letters for the W plus 9, just because on the on a page this size, the letters didn't seem to have the heaviness and the thickness that I, I thought that they should have. Oh, I put a like a random heartbeat at the bottom there just to, you know, life, life is good. I have life in me. <laughs> it's all good. And then I just kind of kept doodling around the edges just to add a little bit more detail in there and bring everything together because I had this great big dead space where I had this big swath of black at the top and this little bit of black at the bottom and I needed something to, to equalize the page and bring it all together and so I just kind of doodled on the edge of the page and used that same doodle the same um, idea of that doodle on the other side of the page as well just to make sure that the whole thing kind of you know became a little bit more cohesive and there I am I'm copying, writing over top of the letters, and they're so much more visible with just that heavier, more bold pen line. So that was the page for today, the slap it all on and get it all out and be getting over it for tomorrow. Because some days it's the month that brings clarity, clarity that um, we're alive, that, you know, the day was full of love and that um, putting all the ugly layers together can be beautiful. Thank you for joining me for this episode of Mixed Media Monday.